Hey, how's it going guys? Ancient Rune here, back with another Borderlands 3 build video. And today I'll be going over my non-DLC Zane build called Three Tree Tidor. This build focuses all on Tidor Chugs, which are extremely strong even after the nerf all that time ago. We focus a lot on damage formula as Tidors have a diverse formula. They get splash, they get gun damage, they get grenade damage, they get elemental, V1, V2, um, debuff, they get a bunch of stuff. So we do that and so this can be a little bit more passive focus on our gear. So you want to keep an eye out on that. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The save file will be found in my discord which is linked down below and I hope you guys enjoy. All right and for the gear here we have the maxed out short shot. Uh, the short shot here is just a really strong TDR pistol. You're going to want to make sure it has the homing Merv part. Uh, you can kind of scroll down here. You can find the barrel accessory with the child projectiles when thrown out, as well as the homing uh, module here, so that when you throw it and chuck it, it'll shoot out and have those. Um, if you don't have the homing part, then it'll just kind of go out like this and shoot back down the projectiles will and you don't want that as you want them to go after the enemies um so you can really tell that by the barrel here and then these little rocket boosters on the bottom can be found pretty similar with the other ones like you can see the boosters here and the boosters on here but we'll go back onto those and with all of these, you want to use the terror damage and fire rate as this is V1 damage and will be basically a pure molt here. Uh, we use it with terror on our shield. Uh, you normally would go ASC splash with like full DLC, but with how this build works, we also want to keep our clone up, which is how we would get ASC splash going and we probably wouldn't have good uptime as it still would be a huge bonus and possibly possible. Um, this is much easier and consistent with the V1 damage. The fire rate does not matter here. So we basically just want to go matching elements, as many elements as you can. I do like radiation for mobbing or some rad explosions. Uh, we already do have splash going on, so you can have some good splash damage there. But the rad explosions are still good. Needle gun is extremely strong and really good for single target here. Um, I have a couple going on just shoot it and throw it and it'll get like a full debuff on it that it has um i don't remember the max but it, it'll give the full damage bonus because not a debuff but the full damage bonus that needle gun has onto the chuck and deal insane amount of damage my go-to for bossing and just if i have a single tough enemy the everblast is really good here since i don't have the anarchy in this no dlc version but you can if you do have season pass one or at least dlc two really good here um you want times 18 as high pellets as possible with the homing merv parts as well you can go down here and find it got the child projectiles in the homing module here uh, but yeah you just want to element match with those as well but if you have the anarchy it can be better but that doesn't make the everblast weak and still really strong and then we have the king fire which is also really good smg um, same homing merv stuff since i'm using the needle gun and other homing merv stuff i don't really use the king fire much and so I just focus on using neither the pistol or the shotgun, but that does not make the keen fire bad at all. Same stuff with element matching. And then you have the bangerang, which is just really fun and a solid weapon. Um, you kind of just gotta shoot it to the side and chuck it to the side so it'll go and hit the enemies. And then we have a face puncher here with Digiclone ammo regen. This is just to apply range terror if you need to. For some reason, you can't get your cut first. Or there is possible to have clone capstone where you can get clone this face puncher if you want. And then for the shield, I mainly go for the band of Sidorak for topped off uptime. Um, so when our action skill goes down, we can get it right back up as we do focus on action skill active with the fish slap. 
on here with the grenade active anoint but you can also go something like red suit with radiation or transformer with shock to have immunity from that stuff but then you aren't really getting that good damage bonus you can also still just go cryo with cryo immunity or with splash immunity you have uh, but still element matching will be better than going with immunity stuff um, stinger can also be nice um, we don't have it so it automatically breaks shield but if our shield is broken stinger will have that apply melee as well as from um procking cut purse which will be pretty solid Stop gap can be some nice survivability and then the uh version o.m can be nice for the rings it drops to boost our damage bunch of good options here you just go with melee apply terror which we activated from the launch pad as well as the fish slap going out then for the grenade fish slap is a must-have i like to go with non-elemental just so there's no chance of anything being immune to it so it can still apply good damage a good way of applying groundbreaker as well you need to have the grenade active skill going on um this is this will give v2 damage to all our grenade stuff going on i, I guess except fish slap because fish slap doesn't get grenade damage but for our tdr chugs it'll be insanely good and just basically a pure malt here so there's no reason not to have this and at playing right you can get this going pretty well now i don't have this going for damage instead i have it with jumping and singularity to try and help get as many fish slap um, hits as possible for the cut purse and then you basically want an anti-freeze but since we're not really spamming our action skill an infiltrator will also be really good or just any purple class mod with um, violent momentum points you are going to want grenade damage absolutely must have same as splash damage um, splash radius is still really nice but not exactly needed uh, max size is also a really nice role weapon damage technically helps but since we have hundreds of gun damage it's not really going to do much we do not go weapon type damage because the tdr chucks do not benefit from weapon types such as shotgun smg pistol they do not get that so it does not matter here um i would probably at least get three points in violent momentum in a violent momentum class mod and then try and get grenade damage and splash damage um probably prioritize grenade and splash which one you get based on the what you have on your um artifact same way going around focusing on artifact with class mod now you are going to want at minimum with your class mod at least cut purse so you could have cut purse launch pad cut purse victory rush base cut purse just anything that you can at least ha have cut purse because at minimum you can slam in a group of enemies and still regain ammo um, don't need the launch pad going out and you still have fish slap going on which um your drone and your chucks will throw out clone will be throwing it but it cannot cut proc cut first but clone throwing the fish slap will still proc the melee terror anointment um so you want to have at least cut purse with grenade damage and area of effect damage uh whatever prioritizes is going to base off of the class mod which i just said and then magazine size is extremely good as well as having movement speed to boost by elemental but even more importantly getting elemental damage will be huge since we don't have any besides in guardian rank all right, and then for this skill tree, it's pretty basic skill tree. Uh, we go violent momentum here with uh, getting hundreds of gun damage from this, violent speed to help boost violent momentum, cold board just so we can swap around with different guns easier and nothing else helps. Cool hand must have, reload speed means we're reloading faster, which means we get more chucks out. Drone delivery so drone can um, get grenades out for us, which will proc cut purse, which means more ammo salvation for lifesteal um these don't or at least shouldn't proc salvation but clone shooting a basic gun will proc salvation which helps survivability a bunch um then we have seeing red here which will give kill skill bonus and just activate our kill skills when stuff spawns so this is really good setup damage for going into combat 
Um, I will mention with Salvation, you can kind of just shoot the gun at an enemy if you really need to, but I never really find that the case. And then we go Max Good Misfortune to keep our kills or our action skill up as long as possible. And then Death Falls Close to boost our kill skills and our kill skill duration, which is huge as we have Violent Speed, Cool Hand, um, Good Misfortune, and Violent Momentum since Violent Momentum benefits from kill skill boost. Then in Red Tree, we are technically going all the way down to Double Barrel. We have Prey Mutinous for mag size increase. Um, the more mag size you have when you reload, the more damage your te teeter chucks will get. So getting more mag size is important here. Um, I forgot to talk about that earlier. Brow time is going to get our action skills active longer, which is really important. We have Donnybrook to help with some consistent gun damage and uh, health regen, which will help with clone as well. Fractal frags so clone can throw grenades. We have duct tape mod here for um, us throwing grenades. It says four seconds, but it's actually eight. Um, but since we're reloading a lot, we should have this active a bunch and it'll just throw out our fish slaps to help with cut first. Then we have quick breather. This is really good for clone survivability as well as when we swap, our sh shield will start recharging um which is really important um as well as clone shield pocket full grenades as we're consuming grenades this is very important one point should be fine we can put in more points um old u for if clone goes if we go down we can use this and get right back up if we need to supersonic man is used to help boost final momentum boob enhance for clone survivability it'll be up more um just better Trick the light, so we have a bonus element going on. You swap with clone, you draw Zagro, um, you go doing your TDR chucks, those TDR chucks will get those bonus elements and help a lot. Now we are able to get double barrel, but we don't because you can just have base clone, but you could throw in a good weapon. Like let's say, I mean, you could even equip like an anarchy on clone um, if you have DLC two or just a base Sandhawk and have it dealing damage as well, which can be really good. Um, you could ha give it a face punch here for really good uptime on um, Terror, but then it isn't proccing Salvation for you, so I'd go like the Sandhawk route, but I don't go it in this because I don't want to focus on clone damage, but clone will also kind of help kill skills me up, so it is still a very good option. So if you want to do that, it is right here and free. And then in green tree, we kind of just go down for some good survivability. We have ready for action, shield recharge, recharge rate, adrenaline for action skill cooldown, rise to the occasion for good survivability with the health regen, and then really expensive jacket to help our, um, cut our status effect durations in half. And then for the augments, we have sentinel going on with bad dose. This will give us movement speed, which helps with violent momentum as well as static field to recharge our shields, which will be really nice for um, having topped off uptime. And then we have clone going with which one's real to draw aggro and then doppelbanger if we need to blow up and reposition clone to draw aggro more. You want to have speed demon, it is really good. I mean, you technically don't need it, but it's still really impactful for helping get more violent momentum. You'd want stuff with Keely Avenger, Postmortem, and then ideally Drone Ranger here, which I do not have. I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. Teetier is super strong, even without DLC, it's super fun. The toughest part of this build is getting the items, as a lot of the good items are purples and class mods and artifacts, uh, which have some variety. Again, you can find the save file in the Discord, which is linked down below, as well as my other socials. If you haven't, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.